Welcome back, students. We are on Lesson 31, Session 3. Turn your Volume 2 Math Book to page 683, and we'll get started. On this one, we are going to be learning how to draw angles. So it says, draw a 30-degree angle. Think about using two pencils to make an angle. So if I'm going to start, I'm going to use two pencils to show what a 30 degree angle might look like. So wherever you're at, take two pencils or markers, color pencils, pens, whatever you have. And I know a 30 degree angle would be an acute angle, so it's going to be less than 90 degrees. So I'm going to hold one pencil here and I'm going to say that it's going to be about like this if I was to draw a 30 degree angle. It's kind of hard to measure with one of these on here, but if I kind of estimate, look, I'm right on 30 degrees. Look how close that is. So now I'm going to draw an angle that looks kind of similar to this using my protractor. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my protractor somewhere on my page. And I'm going to start, um, it doesn't really matter, I wouldn't start real far over here, but you're just going to draw a line using the edge. And at this end of the line, I'm going to put an arrow, and I'm going to put a point on that side. Now I'm going to take my protractor, and I'm going to point the po I'm going to put the point right in the middle and then I'm going to line my line up right with that bottom black line and my arrow for zero, okay? Now, if I'm going with zero, I'm going to follow 10, not the 170. So I'm going to follow over here until I see 30, okay? I'm going to use my pencil and I'm going to put a dot right on this side of 30, and if I follow it across, it's across from 150, I'm also going to put a dot on that side. I'm going to take my protractor up, and then I'm going to line up, like using this as a straight edge, right here, like a ruler, and I'm going to line my dot up from right here to these dots up here. And you'll want it to be just a little bit over because when you draw, it's not going to be exactly. You don't want to put the line right on top of the dots, but you'll want to put it right next to the dots, okay? Like right to the left of them. And then I'm going to use that straight edge to draw a line right through those and add an arrow. Is this an acute angle? Yes. Now let's check my measurement. So again, I'm going to line this up right on my dot line the black line up over my purple bottom line and when I line it up here I see that my my line is exactly at 30 degrees or 150 on this side but it's 30 so that means my angle is correct now add a little half circle to connect them and write 30 degrees and that is how you draw an angle using a protractor. So we're going to do some more to try to practice with that. Go ahead and turn to page 684. Up here at the top they gave an example of what it kind of looks like to make a 30 degree angle with two pencils. Down here it's talking about how you can use benchmarks. We know that pencils straight up and down like this would be 90 degrees, but we did not want 90 degrees. So that means we wanted it to be less, less than that. Well, half of 90 is 45, so this would be about half, but I wanted 30, so it's going to be a little bit less than that. So that's how I would guesstimate how my 30 degree angle would look using pencils. So right here, or they use the example of 30 times 3 equals 90. So they kind of split it up into three parts, 30, 60, 90. And they knew that the first line would be about where 30 degrees is. All right, so this is just exact directions. 
I'll draw a ray on a sheet of paper, place the protractor. So don't X this out in case you need to come back to this for step-by-step um, -step directions on how to draw an angle on page 685, but um, we're going to skip that because I already went through the directions with you on the first page. Let's turn to page 686. Angle D measures 80 degrees. One ray of angle D is shown. So here's one ray of angle D. Draw another ray to make angle D. So I need to put another ray to make this an 80 degree angle. This time my arrow is pointing this way. So I'm going to put my point that way. I know that this is about 90 degrees. Whoops. I know that this is about 90 degrees with my pencils. And at 90 and 80 degrees is just a little bit less. So I'm going to say that my angle is going to look kind of like this cuz that's probably 10 degrees less than 90 degrees. So it's going to be it's going to be over in here somewhere, okay? So I'm going to and actually they already gave us a protractor. So if I look up here for my arrow and find the zero, on this one the zero is on the outside. So I follow it through until I see 80. If I drew a line right here, would that be a little less than 90? Yes. If you go over to the 80 over here, it would be right there. So if I drew a line right there, that would mean my angle is a little more than 90. That's how I know it's going to be over here. So I'm going to take my protractor and I'm going to line it up with the dot I drew up here by 80 and the very edge of my vertex and then I'm going to draw my angle to make my ray. So this is going to be angle D, which is 80 degrees. On number 9, it says to draw a 75 degree angle. So just like I did before, I'm going to just draw one ray. I'm going to put a point at the end of this ray. Now I'm going to line my ray up on my protractor. Okay. This one is zero, so it says 75. 75 is an acute angle. So I'm going to follow it around to 75. My other 75 would be right here. Well, that would make an obtuse angle, so I know this one has to be it. So I've got my line there. I'm going to draw one more up here to help me with my line. I'm going to put my protractor just to the left of my dots and use it as a guide. So is this acute? Yes. So this is a 75 degree acute angle. Number 10, 100 degrees. Well, if this is 90 degrees, I would need to go a little bit bigger for 100 degrees. So that's going to be an obtuse angle. You can also draw angles going the other way. So that's what I'm going to do this time. This time I'm going to make my arrow go that way. So I'm going to make a vertex. I'm going to line it up. Make sure that black line's right over your mark. Now this side, 170 is on the inside and 0 and 10 are on the outside. So that means I'm going to follow the outside. I'm going to follow it all the way around to 100. If I did 100 on this side, it would be right there. That would be an acute angle. So I know this is where it's at. Now I'm going to use the lines. Line it up. right on top of them and then I can check my measurement yep my measurements right at 100 degrees and it's an obtuse angle if you feel like you're getting the hang of drawing angles you can do page 687 and 688 on your own if you feel like you're not quite there yet you can follow along with me Alright, so let's 
go ahead and line this up. If you did do it on your own, you do need to check your answers. So it wants me to draw a 70 degree angle, which is an acute angle. I have my black line down here. I'm going to start at the zero, which is on the inside. Follow it around and follow it around to 70. Oop, I don't even need this because I have this. Follow it around to 70, which is right there. Line up my vertex with my dot that I made. And then there's my angle. Is this an acute angle? Yes. Now on this one it wants an 110 degree angle, which is obtuse. So again, I'm going to line this up. Actually, I don't need this because it gave it to me. So I'm going to follow my ray, and the zero is on the inside. So I'm going to follow the inside numbers until I get to 110. Then I'm going to use my protractor as a straight line. Line it up with the vertex and my dot. Not quite there. There we go. And draw it, and there is my angle. And that's an obtuse angle. Let's turn to page 688. We're drawing more angles here. First, I'm going to go through and label if they're acute, obtuse, or right. 160 degrees is obtuse. 20 degrees is less than 90, so it's acute. 45 degrees is less than 90, so it's acute. And 135 degrees is more than 90, so it's obtuse. Then I'm actually going to just go ahead and draw all my lines. I'm going to do my first two going to the right. And I'm going to do my bottom two going to the left just to show you the difference. But if you prefer one way over the other, you can do them all the same way. Okay. So I'm going to go up here and start with my first one and draw my vertex. I'm going to line it up here right exactly. Now zero is going to be on the inside lines on this one, and I'm following it around until I get to 160 all the way over here. It's a big angle. I can kind of turn my book if I need to. I'm going to line up those two dots and draw my angle. Draw my little circle to show that that's what I'm measuring, and then it's 160 degrees. If I put this on here to check it, I can see that my arrow is right at 160 degrees now. Okay, let's go to number four. Draw my vertex. Put it right on top there. Put my line right on zero. Again, my number's on the inside, and I'm going to 20. The single's not very big, so 20 is right there. Let's connect the dots. Okay, right there, and then if I go back and measure it, right at 20, draw my little angle sign here, 20 degrees. Number five, draw my vertex, line it right up on there, line my line up, okay. I'm drawing 40 degrees, so this time zero is on the outside, so it's going to be right here, and at 142 is where 40 is. Use this as my straight edge. I draw my arrow. Is it acute? Yes. Let's check the measurement right at 40 degrees and that one's done last one draw my vertex line it up there right there my zero is on the outside so I'm going to follow around to 135 degrees just all the way over here Okay, so line my dots up. Okay, 
Is that obtuse? Yes. Let's go ahead and measure it one more time. Right on 135 degrees. So draw my little half circle here and write 135 degrees. That's all for this lesson. Go ahead and complete pages 689, 690, 691, and 692 on your own. I'll put the answer key for those pages on Google Classroom, and I'll see you back for our next session.